Hi, today we're going to learn um, about an art project that uses oil pastel and it will end up being a teepee. Um, we've been studying Native Americans and the Native Americans that were called the Nez Pyrrhus tribe, they lived in the Pacific Northwest in this area, kind of the corner of Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. And in this area, they the Nez Pyrrhus had their territory. They also moved back and forth in and out of the mountainous areas, down to the river areas, depending on the season. Okay? Now, a tribe or Native Americans that moved in, order, in different seasons, it was easier for them to move if they had a home like this that they could pack up and take with them, like a teepee. The Nez Pyrrhus, when they, were, uh, when they traveled to where they wanted to be in the winter, they lived in houses like this called long houses and these could be really long and they could have like 30 families living in one okay but their teepees that they used when they needed to travel from place to place to eat often looked like this okay? so they would move back and forth to hunting grounds depending on the season all right we're going to use oil pastels and the oil pastels that we need all right, I've got a really dark, like purpley blue, and then a regular blue, and a gray, and kind of a copper color, a red, a yellow, and a black, and I'm gonna get a light blue as well. Okay. And the way we're gonna start our picture, and it's okay if you need to use different colors as well, um, you can be creative about this. It's going to look like a teepee at night. The sun is setting, the moon is out. Um, there's a light from a fire coming from the inside of the teepee. Teepees are not triangles, but more like a cone shape. And because the sides are made of fabric, they kind of droop a little bit. So I'm going to have it come out like this and droop a little bit. And then I'm going to make this side. Okay, now those are not ending in the same location. I'm going to make these look more like fabric. Okay? And this will be my opening to my teepee. All right. Now, in order for the teepee to stand up, there would be these posts in um, holding up the fabric. Oops, should be straighter than that. I'm not pressing real hard. I'm going to make these posts kind of connect to where the fabric looks like it's being tied down, okay? Now this is just my background sketch. I'm gonna put my moon here, pretty big. I'm gonna make a kind of a mountain range here behind my teepee, okay? Now I'm ready for my color and I'm gonna start with my yellow. The reason I'm going to start with my yellow is because once I use dark colors, it's hard not to get the, the colors to smear together, okay? So I'm going to fill in my moon. The cool thing about oil pastels is that they're actually paint, like a paint stick, and they cover an area really well. They're more liquidy than a crayon, okay? I'm also going to put in my, my red here where my sun is, along here. Pressing really hard, it covers it up. As I get closer to lines that I want to be smooth, I have to go slower. Okay, so then around my mountains like this, and I can follow that line as best I can, but it's okay if I go over, because oil pastel covers so well. And then the other cool thing about oil pastels is that they blend really well. So I can make it look like a, like a little bit more orangey toward the bottom where the sun is setting and add a little bit of yellow to that. Okay. The next thing, the next color I might use is my rusty color. It's kind of like a rusty brown orange. I don't have to tear a little bit. I'm going to put that on top of my red and I'm going to actually overlap a little bit so they look like they blend together. Oops. And 
and I'm going to use a light blue. And do the same thing, I'm overlapping it a little bit. This is where it's getting into my night sky. But it won't really look like a night sky until I add the dark, dark blue. Okay, go smooth around my moon. last color I'm going to use at the top is my black. But I'm going to add that later because my hands are getting yucky. I don't want the black on my hands while I work with this. The next color I'm going to use is pretty light and it's going to be the color of my teepee and I'm going to use it all over. I'm going to kind of ignore my posts for now because I can add those in later. And I'm coloring in my whole teepee with this kind of silver gray. They would have used, the Nez Pyrus would have used animal skins, mostly bison, to cover their teepees. Because a bison hide, you know, the skin that would end up being leather, would be so big they could drape it. They could take large pieces of it and drape it over these posts to create a really warm kind of tent teepee. Then when they wanted to pack them up, they would take the posts out, roll up the, the hide, and be able to pack it up onto their horses and take it with them to wherever they wanted to go. Right? Now, I'm going to put um, black where my, I'm ready to put my black in, but I'm gonna add a little bit of blue here. And this is not sky, it's more of like just a kind of a reflection of the night happening here. And most of the rest of this is going to be black. And your sunset can be different. You can go from yellow to orange, okay? So I'm adding my black in. And I overlap my blue as I go, but not my orange, because that's where the mountains are hitting the sky. The sun is setting behind those mountains. I can go quickly when I'm overlapping things, but then when I get to a line that I want to be really definite, then I have to go slower. Right? I want my black up here, and I'm going to mix it with my blue. And it's not mixing very well up there, so I'm going to pick my blue back up and mix those together. Sometimes it helps to have your another piece of paper underneath so that you have, I have my blue in my hand right now and I'm mixing these together. If you have another piece of paper underneath, you don't have to worry about going to the edge and messing up your, your work. Okay. Now, I'm still gonna use my black under here. This is gonna be very dark. I'm gonna go around my teepee, around here, and around this. You may have received a really small piece of black in the materials that you got. You're just going to have to be careful with that. There's not a lot of black to go by. Okay. Now I'm going to put my fire in my teepee. red, a little bit of yellow, and we'll put a little bit of black where it would be dark. And if I pick up my yellow again, I can blend these all together to look more like fire inside there. Okay. Now my posts aren't showing, so I'm going to make a definite lines where my posts are. 
as best I can. All right. And your posts should show as sticking out of the top of the teepee. There would be an opening here because the smoke has to get out from the fire on the inside. There would be an opening there. All right. And we could add some of the rust color because the hide would be more of a brownish rust color and that post might be wood and stick out a little bit more there. The cool thing about oil pastel is you can kind of go over what you do and fix it the way you want it. I see a lot of white marks in here, and I'm going to kind of blend that rust color in by going over it again with my gray. Same thing with my posts. I'm just keeping it all in the same direction. Okay. I left a room in white at the bottom that is kind of convenient for putting my name. Right. Oh, and I would like add actually to make my my moon look a little bit more three D. I'm going to add just a little bit of a curve here, and then go over it with my yellow. And you make those curvy shadow lines. It helps it to look more round. Right. And sometimes even adding kind of like swirls with your light blue. Not a whole lot, but we'll make the night look a little bit more nightlike. All right. When you think you're through, you always sign your name in the corner, not up big at the top. Hope it turns out well. Good luck.